Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Oh my Jesus, we are six and or we're facing the six and one Miami Hurricanes. Oh my God, that this game is gonna be wild, folks. Get your pants ready. It, it, it's time. We this is like the second biggest matchup I think we've had all season. And uh, what up, Howell? We're about to take on number four Miami Hurricanes. Good grief. This is going to be a heck of a game, I feel like. Both offenses are top tops in the country. At least in, well, Miami is more balanced than we are. We're number one in defense, though. Not a big deal, though. I mean, Miami's got a good offense. We'll see how about, about that, though. Number five offense in the country. That's actually pretty impressive. Um... Miami's going to be a good game. What's up, Chris? What up, what up, what up? Patrick Tompkins? All right, let's fix this up a little bit. We're getting closer to that punter. We just took the lead for Justin Francis. That's always good. We're, ga we're getting past Texas, which is good. Catching up on Virginia Tech. Dedrick Dorsey. Wait, don't start up the stream without me. I already did. <laughs> um, making, making a few good comebacks here. Although I'm not liking how Brian Woodward's trying to go to Ball State of all places. Who goes to... What, what five-star athlete goes to Ball State? I'm just asking. Not many people I know go to Ball State and they're a five-star athlete. Uh, we got a lead for the kicker, Marcus Heinz. Gonna get this guy, gonna get that guy. You know, just normal recruiting stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just going about my business. My business. Alright. Let's take a look at some other things while we're at it. See, look at this. Coach Prestige, A+. Plus. Conference Prestige. Well, I'm not really in a conference anymore. Uh, I was in the, um was in the uh, SEC. What up, Colton? What up, the rapper? What up, championship contender A+, plus, stadium atmosphere A+, plus, pro potential A+, plus, coach stability A+, plus, athletic facilities A, television exposure B+, plus, academic prestige B-, minus, program tradition C+, plus. it could be worked on though, campus lifestyle, increase this grade by performing well in all areas D+. Ouch. <clears throat> Brian Woodward has brain damage. <laughs> oh, my, Miami's coming to town. We're going to Miami this week. We're going to go travel down to South Florida and take our talents to South Beach. I'm going to Ball State after, after I graduate from El Camino College. Oh, Jesus. What up, Nick? And Brian Woodward has brain damage. Browns are a six-win team, nothing more. Don't I don't have my high expectations on the, actually those are considered high expectations if you're the Browns. Honest to God. Alright, let's take a look here at the top 25. <laughs> brain damage. That's hilarious. Uh oh, undisputed number one. Obviously, we're the only undefeated team left in the country. Um, Alabama versus LSU this week. I hope LSU wins. Knock Alabama's ass off the planet. Miami's number four. God, we got one versus four and three versus two. What is this, the college football playoff? Which recruits are coming this week after for the game? Uh, it's at Miami, so I will not be seeing recruits this game. It is at Miami. Nebraska's facing number 19, Wisconsin. Texas A&M is at number 25, Mississippi. Uh, Oregon, Stanford's at Oregon. California beat Washington 10-7. Wow. The Pac-12 plays defense? What is this nonsense? 10-7? Notre Dame beat Ohio State. Navy beat, uh, lost to New Mexico. Uh, Texas is still number 10, 11, even though they're a three-loss team. 
and they've lost all three of their losses have come to teams that are better are uh, worse than them in the polls, or one's better than them. We beat Texas, um, Mississippi State, a three win team, a three loss team at number twelve, Cincinnati at thirteen, they lost to South Florida, uh, Northwestern beat Iowa, TCU plays number eighteen Oklahoma and they beat Texas. Uh, Virginia plays Pittsburgh. Nothing else interesting here. Central Michigan's still in the top 25. That's good. Uh, well, they made the top 25. Five, four new teams in the top 25 this week. That's pretty good. Other receiving votes go to Virginia Tech, Rutgers, Clemson, Army, San Diego State, Ball, Texas State, Ball State, Michigan State, and Air Force. Wow. Wow. Army was in the top 25 at one point, so can't not cannot hate there. No more triple option cheese. Yeah, exactly. I don't have to play Navy in the national championship game. That would have been horrifying. All right, back to the drawing board here. We're going to look at the uh, conference standings. Miami and North Carolina, top of the ACC. Um, are they in the same con? No. Wake Forest is top of the ACC Atlantic. Bro, there's something wrong there. There is something wrong there. Miami and North Carolina. Ugh. Yeah, Ball State's receiving votes, so. But we're the number one team in the country, undisputed, undisputed number one. That's my point. Uh, North Carolina. You know that's a that's a tough division to play in right there. American Conference, we got USF, Tulsa, Cincinnati, UCF, Houston, Temple, Memphis, ECU, T Tulane, SMU, and UConn. In that order, Big Twelve looks like there's a th five team race about. That's if these three teams win their games respectively. Um, Kansas is three and three. What up, Scooby? Scooby soft, softly, softly. This is not 2006 for Wake Forest. Oh my God! How is Kansas 500? I want to know that for real. Who have they beaten? Have they beaten anybody decent? Uh, they lost to number 11 Texas. Lost to Iowa. Lost to Texas Tech. They beat. Number 18, Oklahoma. And Kansas State. Okay. <laughs> okay. Respect. They won at Oklahoma on top of it. They won at Oklahoma. They uh, That's impressive to me. Okay. You, you've got my respect. You've got my respect, Kansas. Kansas is better than Texas, low key. Like, this is this is what I don't get about college football. Look at this. Look at this shit. Texas is three and three, number eleven in the country. Kansas has the same record both sides, and Kansas is getting no respect, none at all. And they Kansas beat Oklahoma, but Texas lost to Oklahoma. Oklahoma. That's what I don't get. Oh, come on. Beating a ranked team on, on the road is really hard. you got to admit that Kansas Kansas has my respect in that regard. They're not complete shit. They're not complete shit compared to where they, they usually are. They're usually like 0-6 at this point or 1-5. Seeing them at this point, 500. Hell, they have a chance to make a fucking bowl game. <laughs> How often are you going to see that from Kansas? Like, they have a chance to beat West Virginia and South Alabama. They have a chance here to win seven games. They have a chance to win at least seven games here. Let's show them at least a little respect. Texas is... They, they, these two teams have the same record. And yet Kansas is not even getting at least... A little more respect than 
Kansas beat Oklahoma. Texas did not. And Texas lost to Oklahoma at home. This is what Texas Texas has lost three of five. I'm telling you. I'm not saying Kansas is better than Texas, but let's not say that Texas is the number 11 team in the country. This team is trash for a number 11 team. Look who Texas has beaten. FCS West. Can't, they beat Kansas. Oh, whoop de doo They beat them by one fucking point. And they beat West Virginia. And yet they're number 11. They lost to us by almost 40. They lost to at Oklahoma. They lost at home to, to Oklahoma by a touchdown. And they lost at home to TCU. And they're number 11. They're still ranked better than these teams. This is why Texas is so fucking trash. I mean, yeah, technically it's neutral site, but they still lost to TCU at home. And yet TCU is six and one, and still ranked less than a three and three Texas team. Tell you, tell me, Texas gets no respect from me whatsoever. I don't care if they've been to the last three national championships. This kind of crap is so stupid. But on to the Big Ten before I lose my mind. Michigan State five and two, five and zero oh in Big Ten play. Uh, Nebraska seven and one. Northwestern six and two, Notre Dame number five and three, Notre Dame not even deserving of, the, of a top ten spot. If you're a three loss team this this at this point in the season, you're like fifteen to twenty in my book. You're not number nine. You're not number nine. Rutgers has a better record than you. Technically, if we want to be real here, Texas has, Rutgers has a better record percentage wise. No, wait. Yeah, even Wisconsin has a better record, percentage-wise. Iowa's coming back after a, a sloppy start. They were, like, 1-3 and three at one point. They were, they, yeah, they were 1-3, and three, and now they've won 4-5, uh, or five, so they're doing pretty good for themselves. Penn State, pretty trash. Um, yeah, let, let, let's take a look at Wisconsin's record here. They beat Maryland, not that, not that impressive. Uh, Michigan, not that impressive. Or Penn State, not that impressive. Um, they lost to Michigan State, beat Michigan, not that impressive, and they beat Utah, which is okay, I suppose. Imagine, dude, I've seen a six and six team make the top twenty-five. That was in that was in ECU year one. Six and six, EC, uh, Washington State, just because they beat the number three team in the country, they got a top twenty-five spot. That's trash. They have number five Nebraska, number fourteen Northwestern. Wisconsin's got a tall task ahead of them for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Big Ten leaders is held by Michigan State. Big Ten legends is held by Nebraska. Conference USA, uh, Western Kentucky, and Florida International. Let's see who in the East is full. It's Western Kentucky, and the West is Louisiana Tech, Southern Miss, and UTSA are the contenders. I wouldn't throw UTEP in there. I mean, UTEP could be in there, I suppose. Um, not with three losses, though. It's going to be tough for them. Um, these two, three, these three teams are the contenders for the Conference USA. MAC East is held by Buffalo at 3-4. and four. Miami, or not Miami, Ohio is 3-1. and one. Um, Miami of Ohio is also 2-1, and one, but these, th these look like the contenders of the MAC. Mac West is held by three teams right now that are contending for it. Western Michigan, Ball State, and Central Michigan. Mountain West, the Mountain Division. Not bad teams here. There's about four teams that could contend for that. Wyoming, Air Force, Army, and Navy. Um, not bad teams there. UNLV, Fresno State. Pac-12 North. California. Now that's a team that's deserving of a top 25 bid. Like Washington was in the top 25, I think, earlier this year. And I think they kind of fell out. Uh, but California, they, they've put up a pretty good showing this year, I gotta say. 
I did not expect a team like California to come out of nowhere like that. They pulled out a lot of close games, like against Washington State, Washington, UCLA, Idaho, you know, a lot of close games, but that's that's how you win, that's how you get good, is playing a lot of these teams that, um, you know, winning these close games makes you a little bit tougher, you know. Stanford's in there. Bo Boise State's doing pretty good for themselves, too. Five and three. USC will beat Cal. <laughs> okay. We'll see about that one. USC still trying to pick up the pieces. They're four and four. Uh, Utah, f pretty impressive so far. U Arizona, like, USC is not going to the Pac-12 championship. SEC East is held by South Carolina. Wow, impressive. And any other bias thrown in here? Tennessee shouldn't even be in the top 25. I keep saying this year after year. Tennessee is not worthy of being a top 25 team. They always find ways to just toss it away. SEC West, Alabama, and LSU. Both teams play each other today. I hope they beat the living crap out of each other so then Texas A&M can just slide in in there and uh, get themselves a nice little ass whooping in the national championship. Sun Belt. Who, who's winning the Sun Belt? Three, four undefeated teams in the Sun Belt. Granted, these three teams have only played one game, but what up, Beefcakes? Um, whew, Idaho, definitely not going anywhere this year. Neither is Arkansas State or UL Lafayette. Neither is Troy. Uh, UL Monroe, Georgia State, Texas State, and New Mexico State look like they're being contenders for the Sun Belt. Just, just nuts. Heisman watch. Who's going to be, who's, where, where are we at with Aaron Hardy? How many touchdowns he's got this year? 15? 15 touchdowns? Let me, let me break that career high for him. Anyway, we're going to take on Miami. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's take on Miami. Let's see what kind of crazy uniforms we have for the Hurricanes. Ooh, not the green helmets. Ew. Uh. We're going orange. We're going, we're going orange for Miami. Uh, see, if I were to do another dynasty, I don't want to do something that somebody's already did, though. I kind of started UAB before him, though. Not going to try and steal his thunder or nothing, but I kind of started UAB before he did. I started UAB like three years ago. Oh, we're second in points allowed now. Son of a bitch. I kind of had pride in taking that in first, but uh, we'll see how we can do today. Miami's a good team. The U. It's all about the U. It's all about the U. The U. It's all about the U. On the number one spot in the poll. This team has maintained its focus. They've remembered the hard work, the effort, the energy, the dedication. It's all about the U. Back in the summer that gets them to this point. It's all about the U. Feeling that they're not about to have a face plant now. That's going to do it for us here on the free game show. It's kind of hard to do a dynasty that no one has done. Uh, not as hard as you think it is. All you have to do is look up, look it up on uh, YouTube. YouTube's a, YouTube searching is a beautiful thing, man. Here we go, underway. Here we go. I'm taking it out. Let's do it. 
Oh! What up now? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh shit, take the opening kickoff for six, let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Stop. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update. Um It will be close. Ooh, that Oklahoma beat TCU. 35 to 28. That's a good game, man. Good game. 10 seconds into the game. I'm already up by tub. Uh, I'm already up a touchdown. <laughs> Chase is Devin Hester. Definitely, man. Something to that degree. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. All right, let's see what kind of offense we're dealing with here for Miami. Looks like sh shotgun. Who's the t who's the primary running back though? Looks like it's this guy, Jimmy Miner, twenty-one. Whoo! All right, we found our primary back. We found the guy who's the primary back. We just need to contain him. They like to run a pro-style offense? I have not seen this all year. Okay. Oh, Shade's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Watch for the draw. Okay. I got you, fam. I got you. Oh, good job. See, I could do a team builder with Minis with my with my alma mater at Minnesota State. I did. I did show the recruiting board before the game. Were you not here for that? I kind of did. Third and 13. Oh, he gets sacked. Let's go. Defense too strong, man. My offense hasn't even stepped on the field yet. And I'm already up. Who needs offense? Minnesota State's where I went to... Minnesota State University is where I went to college, so... Um, if I do a team builder for that, ooh, plenty of space on the right side. Oh, I thought I could break free from that. Well, I went to a Division II school, so I didn't really get the I don't get the pleasure of uh, saying that I my team's in this game. Oh no 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 no! Ah! <laughs> Nice blocking. Good God. That was horrendous. Don't fumble. Don't fumble, man. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of a delay between the the uh, the chat and me. So if I see it, it's like 20 seconds in advance. So. Let's be mindful of that part. Ooh, 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 nice run. Big time, big time. Hardy's got the weight of the team on his shoulders right now after the way he performed last season, Kirk. Why are we looking at this last year's stats? He's already better this year. really makes expectations go through the roof. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Oop, 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 first down. Sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. 
All right, first down again. Yeah, I like a challenge when I do my t when I do um like this was a challenge. Rebuilding this team was a challenge. Ho oh, oh, uh, ho. That was that was nothing there. I should have probably just flipped it. Yeah, there was nothing there for me at all. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Oh, right, right back at him. That's how we do it, man. You get hit, you get knocked down, and you come back right back up, man. I love Aaron Hardy. I think I do need to pass here on third down, though. I feel like I should. I don't pass very much, but when I do, I make sure it counts. Oh, Ben Smith! Touchdown! Let's go. I, I'm pretty sure that, like, it just said, like, at Hurricane Sports. Okay, make sure you guys follow at the, the make sure you follow the My Hur Miami Hurricane Sports Athletic Program at Hurricane Sports. Ooh, Rice. Why does this game even matter? There's, there's, there's two garbage teams fighting it out. Do you think the Alabama quarterback will break the passing yards record? No. I don't even think Jalen Hurts is that good of a quarterback. About he thrives under a system based off of Nick Saban. Why do you think Alabama quarterbacks aren't that relevant in the NFL? Why do you think A.J. McCarron hasn't started a game yet? Do I think he's a good quarterback? Yes, but he's not a franchise changer. Their own 29-yard line. Ooh, Vanderbilt versus South Carolina. Please, no. I like South Carolina's season so far this year. Okay, the fact that he got two yards is astounding. He should have not gotten two yards. Jalen Hurts is not the LeBron of college football. Stop it. Stop it! You're not doing this! You're not! Come on! That's ridiculous! I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially. Stop it! We're not we're not doing this stupid little scrambling crap. It won't last, bro. Oh, get down. Jalen Hurts is not transferring. Why would you transfer? Ooh. The duck. Or whatever the hell that bird is. He's not a duck. He's a fucking... I have no idea if Jalen Hurts is transferring. If he is, he's stupid. If he's, if he's really that butthurt about getting benched in the national championship, maybe he should be a better quarterback. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. I'm, I'm being real. If he's that butthurt about being benched in the national championship game, maybe he should be a better quarterback. What up, David? How did he get it in that kind of trap? Hold up. How did he get it in that window? There's three guys right there. Not no one. First down. Uh, uh. Oh, f 
fucking hell. Seriously, first and goal off of that. <sighs> well, I got to hold the shades up for a quarter at least. Maybe he should be a better quarterback. I'm just saying, like he led his team to the national championship and then he gets benched in the national championship game because oh, he's not doing that good. He had a bad he had a, an off day. If he's going to cry about having an off day, then he should just consider not playing football anymore. Yeah, transferring is stupid anyway. It's like what's the point? Just because you didn't get playing time? Like, if you didn't get playing time, maybe you should get better at it. That's the, that's the only reason I'm, like, preaching about it. It's like, people who complain about not getting playing time, maybe you should get good. Oh, wow. You had to get the luckiest grab. Jalen Hurts isn't, um, I don't think he's big enough to play running back. Oh my god, look at this run. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Aaron Hardy, just doing what he does best. Such a damn good running back. Making people look silly. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. I like a quarterback who could do both. Like, honestly, I would rather see him do pass more than run, but if I can get a quarterback that can at least be mobile and avoid sacks, then that's fine. You know, you gotta have you gotta have a quarterback that can get you both. Oh Jesus! Stop it, Aaron Hardy! Look at that juke! Yike! <laughs> Damn, dude! I like I like Cam Newton's game. I don't like Cam Newton as a person too much. I think he's kind of egotistical and kind of a sore loser. Dude, Randall Cunningham was the best quarterback for that era. Like, he was the best dual threat quarterback probably of all time. Oh my god, Kenny. Stop it. Johnny Manziel is trash. Randall Cunningham was the best dual threat quarterback to ever play the game. Name me somebody who's better. I can't think of anybody else. It's Randall Cunningham. Ooh, Nebraska's just getting manhandled over here. <laughs> oh, will you stop it? Third and five. Did Randall Cunningham play for the Ravens? No, he didn't. Stop. No one remembers that. <gasps> oh, we got it. Touchdown. John Parker. Who the hell is John Parker Wilson? Roger Staubach is not as good as Randall Cunningham. John Roger Staubach was not even like the guy who... McNabb? <sighs> I like Cunningham better. Mike, M Randall Cunningham made a name for the dual threat quarterback. Roger Staubach was more of a passer than he was a runner. He could avoid sacks, but he's not the kind of quarterback that's going to go out and, like, he had the speed, but he wasn't that kind of quarterback. <laughs> His final season in 01. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I remember that now. He was like backing up somebody. I think he was backing up like Trent Dilfer or something. Ooh, get clobbered. 
McNabb was good. He was another good dual threat quarterback. Michael Vick, not accurate enough of a passer. They have to be good at accuracy and um, running. They have to be do. They have to do good in both. Michael Vick's quarterback accuracy was never really that good. Randall Cunningham and Donovan McNabb are really good at that area. Who the? F I remember Elvis Grab Grabic, but like, never really came amounted to much. Dante Culpepper is more of a dual threat quarterback than Elvis Grobeck. Russell Wilson's another good one. But there's still lot, lots to left to be determined about Russell Wilson. He's only reaching the prime of his career. Jordan Lynch was only good in college, exactly. We're talking about all times, not like only good in college. A cool dynasty was, I saw from Little Chef is the death penalty where you take a top team, replace their players with cupcake teams, and try to bring them back to glory. Oh, so it's like taking an Alabama team. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> that is so bro. This guy is a cheat code. This dude is a cheat code. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down mark. Wow. And he's Aaron Hardy is a cheat code. What's up, Ian? JT Barrett. Again, another good college quarterback, but never really translated to the pros. They're not gonna tra they're not gonna translate to the pros. Braxton Mil didn't he change positions in the NFL? Same with Terrell Pryor. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 25. Seattle needs an old, they need everything to help Russell Wilson. They need everything on offense. From the 25 yard line, first down. Oh, stop it! <laughs> oh my god, that stiff arm! Blah! <laughs> Blah! <laughs> stop! Stop it right now. That is insane. Stop it. Oh, Jermaine McAfee. Oh, not quite a touchdown. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought he had it. He was a Redskin. I know that. There we go. Touchdown. Get that man what he deserves. <laughs> South Alabama's beating Tennessee. Best passer before the 80s was Johnny Unitas. I could agree with that. And then Dan Marino showed up and took over the entire landscape. Oh, I'm not going to challenge it. Just get, I'm going to get the touchdown regardless. Oh, there was no point in challenging that at all. Oh, that hit the goalpost. <laughs> Iowa got fucking spanked. Mississippi State's a four-loss team. Mississippi State is a four-loss team, and they're number 12 in the country. Think about that, folks. They're not, if they don't drop out of the top 25, oh, my God. Oh, get bodied, dude. Get out of here. Did Miami call timeout after that? No. 
he drops back to pass. Let's see if that throws off his timing. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Are they going to run it? Oh, yeah, they're, they're going to run the clock out. I did an Ohio Dynasty back when the game first came out. Ohio Bobcats? Yeah, I did that one. That one was pretty fun, actually. That was an online dynasty I did between a few other friends back in the day. Get sacked again. Man, my videos were garbage back then. Oh, my God. I remember doing that. My, If you watch a lot of the stuff I did back in, like, 2013, you'll see all the fucking cringe that I did back then. Holy shit. That was cringe as shit. That was back when I first attended college, too. Back in 13. Oh, my God. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. 28-7. Uh, no, but a few of his... I think Air Jones was. Um, a few of my other friends were, too. Like, I'm not... I'm not, like, super close with Spade, so I, I knew... I know a few of his, like, friends, like QJB and, like, Air Jones, like... Air Jones... I think Air Jones was in that dynasty back in the day. We only did it for, like, a couple seasons. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Are they going to run it? Don't tell me they're going to run it. Oh, Jesus. We got burned. <clears throat> oh, God. That was funny. That was That's cringe 101 right there. Mine, mine, my mine, mine, mine. Yeah, LaParis was in that too, I think. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Oh, run. Okay, quick, uh, go down already. Jesus. Oh, yeah, we're sending the blitz. Sending the blitz. And he still gets the first. Uh, this team's running pro style offense. That's crazy. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. What? <laughs> Your cat's name is QJP. <laughs> um, remember when Ohio... Oh, yeah, Kent State was ranked number five. I think I was ranked two at that point. I think I was ranked, like, 21. I only lost to Eric Jones by, like, I think a couple of points. Oh! Uh, this is Xbox 360. What's up, DC... Or DJ? DC... DJC... Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Colorado State. Now that would be, that's interesting. No one's done Colorado State. You're not getting that first down, man. Get out of here with that. Answer you about what? Do you think Clemson's 2016 could beat the Redskins? No. No no college team can beat a professional team. I don't care if you're I don't care if it's Alabama versus the Cleveland Browns. You're talking about professionals here. No professional team is going to lose to a college team. I don't care who you are. I think it is backwards compatible right now. I just don't have an Xbox One. Excellent kick. He's to the ten. He's to the twenty. And he has it on the corner. Uh, and down he goes at the twenty-eight yard line. 
Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. I get a lot of do comments, and I don't have a lot of results. How about the offensive line? The job that seems like a lot of, uh, seems like a lot of, a lot of questions that are a lot of suggestions out there. Oh, God. Should be interesting to see now. If the defense has changed things up. It's like I can, I can only do a couple of these because it's like, if I do all of them, it's like if I take all your suggestions, none of them will get done. From their own 30 yard line, second down. Oh, come on! That he was down. He was so down. That's so fucking garbage. Whatever, man. I'm challenging that. He's down. Or not. I don't think he was down after looking at that. What kind of garbage is that? Jesus. I think it is backwards compatible. I've seen Spade do it on his streams. Get down. Now I'm upset, man. That's ridiculous. Second and six. On the That's so ridiculous. Get down. <laughs> I, I can't, like, I gotta finish out these other dynasties. I'm not gonna do a million of them, man. I can only do so many dynasties. I thought it was. I figured, I thought I saw something where it was. Maybe I'm seeing shit. Probably. Oh, get back! Oh, that is sick. Oh, let me read that back to you. Get out of here with that garbage. That was a duck. Keeper. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice solid tackle. Oh my god, another good run right there. Fifteen carries, one hundred and twelve yards. Watch for man zone. Okay, like that's gonna be hard to stop. Or hard to get past. Yoink. And now he's got room to run. And down he goes. At the 35. And the 13 yards. First down. Thompson comes in at quarterback. Rutgers 28 to 7 over Ohio State. I'm seeing that actually. Oh! I'll stay on your feet. Oh Jesus. That'd have been nice if you would have stayed up. Oh well. I did shut out Ohio State though. They have no offense. Putting up 42 is nothing on this for this team. Oh watch, watch, watch somebody be wide open in the end zone in this play. Watch, it's gonna be sick. Or not. I didn't throw it over the top. I should have thrown it over the top. Because he was right behind the defense. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Oh! Woo! Inside the 10. Inside the bounds, and now it's going to be first and goal. Kenny Wright's got 100 yards rushing. Okay, let's do a screen pass. I'm going to get a little cocky here. Up. Oh, okay. That was not the bad idea. When was the last time you lost? Uh, Like year three. It's the ninth play of the drive. 
Hardy's like a top five draft pick. Oh Jesus! I need to get it. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit, dude! No way! No fucking way! Oh my god, this is this is insane. This isn't happening. Now he tries to buy some time. Here comes the pressure. Oh my god, that's so bullshit. Okay. I'm trying to get a passing touchdown. But okay. UAB leads it 28-10. I need Kenny in the game, man. I need Kenny. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I'll take three and live with it. <sighs> that was a that was close. Wisconsin's demolishing Nebraska. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The Blazers have a defense that's a sight. Yeah, I don't want to lose Kenny, man. He's too valuable. Too valuable. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers. Way too valuable to be just. Oh. And they've been fun to watch. That, that's, a, that's a heart stopper. Way too valuable a player to be losing like that. last drive, which ended with a turnover. This quarterback can make good can we can we tackle this guy? That'd be great. This guy's been annoying all day. We've been they've been doing these little dump offs to him all day, and it's like, dude, can you not? Come on, where are you at, Miami? Go down! No, go down! I'm tired of this crap. You're going to do these little dump-offs to him. I'm just going to... Ooh. Go down. Just go down. It's not hard. Go down. 88. Where are you at, brother? I got your number. Oh, now we're going to try this cheesy crap. Fumble. And he, reco and he recover! And he's taken down. Mm. Boy, we'll see how I feel after this other this game here. Where's 88? Boy, stop! Stop that! This is so ridiculous. Boy, you're gonna get sacked, and I'm gonna break your damn legs. Stop it! This is getting stupid. Uh-huh, uh-huh, where you at? Get sacked, bro. Where are you at? <sighs> Don't cheese me, game. Dude, th there he is again. He's trying to be cheesy. This is so dumb. I hate this. I hate it when the game gets cheesy like this. It's like this is the only way they can try and actually do anything. Okay, screen pass. Oh, it's on. Where you at, bro? Where you at, 21? There you go. Get down. Where you at? Yeah, you know your team sucks when your quarterback's your leading rusher for the game. And probably the season at this rate. Oh, inter oh, not intercepted, but we'll take the turnover. Good defense. We'll take the turnover, man. Oh, Aaron Hardy again. You can't stop this man. He's too good. He is too good. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 
36 yard line. Over the middle, Ben Smith. He makes a catch and has a first down. Twenty yard reception. Uh ooh. Ooh, got him faked out too. That was sex. C. Sex E. Kansas is beating. Yeah, I'm telling you, Kansas is something else this year. Lead him. Oh, lead him. He was open. Bro, what is up with you, Wesley? Oh. Hmm. Not a happy camper about that play. Not a happy camper. Aaron Hardy again. Gain of 11. Is that linebacker blitzing? Oh, there we go. Tight window, but whew, I don't do motion very much. I kind of like to see what the playing field looks like. I don't do motion. I'm one of those rare players that doesn't do it. I like to do hot routes. Boop! Ooh, first down again. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Kansas used to be good back in 2012. I think you're thinking about another team. Oh, touchdown, Aaron Hardy. We need to get him in the end zone. Bona bing. Too easy. And he hits the PAT. Is Aaron Hardy the best... Uh, Aaron, is Aaron Hardy the best running uh, back up? No. Upset! Tennessee's so garbage! Oh, I love it. So garbage! Let's go! Fuck Tennessee. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, my God. That makes me so happy. Tennessee is garbage. Oh, so delicious. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Kansas, yeah, the Kansas has been bad since 2010. They had like one good year and then it got thrown away. Oh, boy? Boy, are you serious with that? How is he getting open all these times? Stop. Just a well executed play. They picked the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Boy, he's out of bounds. Look at that. I think he's out of bounds. There's no way he caught that in bounds. He's out. Ah, oh, I can't even. I can't even challenge it. That's bullshit. He didn't catch that. It's first down. Boy, you cannot be serious with that. You can't be serious. You cannot be serious. I have read that play. Boy. Boy. Boy, what the fuck? Boy. <laughs> Stop! That is cancer right there. Try it again. I dare you. Boy! You can't be real! I had that so bad! They did it twice! They got away with it twice! How? What is this black magic? Try it again. I dare you. I dare you to try it again. Oh, it's on. They're doing it again. Give me that!
You tried it for a third straight time. You think it was gonna work again? You got lucky twice. You played with luck and you ended up dying for it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't be playing with luck like that. 55 to 21. 59 to 20. Boy. Kansas, Texas barely escaped Kansas State. Like, bro, Texas is so trash. Yet they're going to be in the top 10 because, you know, everybody else is losing. They tried to do it three times in a row. Like, they're flirting, they're flirting with danger here. They're trying to do something that they just cannot do. Are they going to do it again? It's 45 to 10 now because your stupid quarter, your stupid playbook is so short-sighted. Dude, I still have no idea. I don't even know if I like the I like the game or not. Madden's so trash. They're doing it again! They're doing it again! <laughs> He's they're doing it again! They have not learned! They did not learn! Stop! Just give the ball to 26. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it second. They did not learn. Oh, okay. Do these guys ever learn? That's the real question. Take these kids. They take these kids back to the classroom. Good lord. Ooh, another good game. <laughs> you guessed. <laughs> let's try and make this forty-two. Let's make this fifty-two ten. I'm feeling ballsy. I'm feeling ballsy. Let's do it. Why not? How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Tech mobile. Let's do it. Hup! Oh. Yeah, let's let's call a timeout. I wanted to make this 52. William Clark wide open, end zone. Or not. Oh well. Can't have them all. But a 45 to 10 win regardless against Miami in Miami. 22 carries, 160 yards. He was out here breaking ankles and busting people's asses. That's what Aaron Hardy does. Woo! Oh, man. Right from the opening kickoff, you knew this game was over. <laughs> Good Lord. That was that was a blowout of epic proportions. Miami scored 10 the entire game. Oh, that was gorgeous. Such a good game. Although I was kind of scared for a second when they hurt Kenny. I was like, no, they killed Kenny. Oh, my God, they killed Kenny. You bastards. <laughs> Don't be hurting my quarterback. He's too valuable. He's way too valuable. Oh, man. I got scared for a second.
I don't have a conference rival this year, I think. I don't have a conference rival. Oh, man, let's take a look at these stats, though. Let's take a look at these stats. Three for six, four for five. So a total of nine, uh, seven for 11 for 60, oh, 72 yards and a touchdown pass. Rushing totals, what else is new? Uh, Aaron Hardy beasting and feasting. Same with Kenny Wright. Same with Jermaine McAfee. They all had touchdowns. Ben Smith had a touchdown through the air. Three interceptions in total all happened within the final quarter, I think. Oh, no, wait. We had one in the third, I think. Yeah, by Henry Harrington. Had a kickoff return for a touchdown. We had an offensive score, a defensive score, and an offensive score. So all three elements of the game worked out in our favor this time around. That's always good. 14 of 19, 177, three interceptions. Beautiful. Didn't even throw a single touchdown pass. They got a running, they got a uh, touchdown through the ground, though. So how many rushing yards did we give up in total? 60, 67 rushing yards. So that's below our, that's below our average. He got sacked like six times, I think. No interceptions on defense, although they have a fumble recovery because Aaron Hardy fumbled. Um... Who's our defensive leader? Uh, defensive leader of the game, I'd say, would have to say either Scott Frazier, because he did lead the team in tackles today, and he also got in a, a pick six. Um, yeah, I would say Scott Frazier's best player of the game, uh, defensive player of the game. Coverage, a coverage linebacker who also makes tackles. Not a bad linebacker, if you ask me. Um, Keenan Brown had two sacks. And then Dubzinski, Kemp, Harris, and Wright each had a sack themselves. So I would say, overall, I think the defensive MVP goes to Scott Frazier. Um, 18 first downs. 300 and... 44 yards, 272 of them on the ground. Um, yeah, really another good offensive showing, really. They dominated time of possession, though, which is really weird. And I won by 35 points. Hmm, interesting concept there. Oh. Stanford escaped Oregon. California demolished Oregon State. Um, Auburn beat Arkansas. Louisville beat Syracuse. Eastern Michigan beat Miami of Ohio. Dude, I haven't watched Family Guy in forever. I feel like their jokes kind of ran dry. All right. Let's see how it's going to mess up the top 25 this week. Oh, we play LSU. Hopefully LSU wins. Hopefully LSU wins just so I don't have to play Bama in the national championship. Oh, man. That's going to suck. That's gonna suck. <sighs> Come on, we need LSU to beat Bama. We need LSU to beat Bama. If not, I'm gonna be very sad.
Plus, it'll be the second time I think we face a number two team in the country this year. LSU! Come on, be number two. We need you to be number two. Number two. Come on, LSU. We need you to beat Bama. Like, right now. It's not going to be Texas. I guarantee you it's not going to be Texas. Ooh, defensive coordinator Thomas Sharp up to level 16. We got to commit. Oh, Justin Francis committed to BYU. Are you serious? Fuck. LSU lost to Texas or Alabama. Fuck. Double fuck. No, I'm independent. I was in the SEC, but now I'm independent. You cannot be serious with that. You can't be serious with that commit. That's so horse shit. That is so fucking horse shit. Oh my god, that's so fucked. That is so fucked. Oh my god. I think I've seen regular show. Ready for visits. Well, we're going to do it against Michigan. Screw that. I've seen regular show. I'm, I'm, it's okay. Oh my god, all these guys are trash. And now we're losing. Now we're losing our punter because, oh man, come on. Thor, we got a visit this week with. Jeff Williams, Dedrick Dorsey, we're going to get Brian Woodward, and we're going to get Jonathan Nelson. Might as well go after Mike Johnson. That is so fucked. Dude commits to BYU. Oh, as soon as we get... As soon as he visits this week, it's over. Florida State's out of the race, dude. I have seen regular show. It's not that bad. Dude, pitch... <laughs> yeah, I, I've played freshman quarterback before. I did it with Justin Kelly.
Alabama plays at Mississippi State. Why is Notre Dame a three-loss team in the top five? Texas is four and three and number eight. I hope they lose to Iowa State. I really do. That'll knock them completely out of the top 25. In any of your dynasties, has the number one team gone... Uh... Remain, uh, has Joni the Dynasty said the number one team remain unbeaten, gone down in the top 25 polls? I have been number one. And I've been number one, and I stayed undefeated, but I was number two by the national championship. And it was against Texas. Dude, Rutgers is up there at, tw at number 22. Dude, Army's getting no love in the polls. Wait, did Navy drop out? No. Where's Navy? Oh, they're number 13. They lost again! Oh, my God. Navy's just choking away. These polls are so horseshit. Oh, we're definitely not losing to LSU. That's that's not a thing. We're not losing to LSU. Anyway, I'm gonna get take like a 15 minute break. Um Make sure you guys uh, follow me on Twitter. Drop a like on this video if you haven't already. And I will uh, be back in 15. We're going to play LSU next. And uh, I will see you guys there. Peace out.